Coming up at the Chattanooga Theater Center, it's a huge one night only production, and it happens this Saturday of Love Letters. Now, you may remember Mimi Kennedy, who's got family here. She was on uh, Dharma and Greg. She is Marjorie on the hit CBS show Mom. And guess who's appearing with Mimi? Not in a conducting uh, aspect, but an acting aspect is Bob Bernhardt of all people. Bob, uh, of all people him. is right. Jeff. I, I, I knew you've been conducting the symphony here for 25 years. I didn't know you had the acting bug. Um, neither did I, actually, <laughs> until Mimi's brother, Jim, told me that I did. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, the Kennedys are kind of hard to say no yeah. to. And, and Mimi Kennedy is here on the phone with us. Mimi, good morning. Yes, yes, good morning. Tell me about your part in this. About working with a conductor guy. <laughs> yeah, and, and I understand this is a one night performance only, but the two of you have not actually rehearsed together yet. We have not met. We've, now, this is our second interview by voice. Right. And that's the most important thing for a conductor, right? Yes, and I what told she knows I, I look a lot better on the telephone, so she's, <laughs> she's, she's prepared. She's prepared. Well, here's the interesting part. Of course, Jim Kennedy, long a uh, very, very valued member of the Chattanooga community, is Mimi's brother. You've been rehearsing with Jim Kennedy playing the part of Mimi. Uh, that is correct. Tell no one. Bob, this is getting really it's, confusing, it's a, it's even a for me. It's a secret. How Jim, is that? Jim and I have been My friends for... My brother has been impersonating me. <laughs> he has. Down to the clothes and the shoes, Mimi. It's kind of... No, I, I just, thought we weren't going to talk about that. Okay, but, we'll, we'll go on to another show. But subject. Jim is a longtime friend, and uh, he, he, he was uh, having a... Uh, we, he asked me if uh, I would take part in this... Uh, event for the theater center and I said I'll think about it which translates into a yes when do I start that's it and uh, it's been it's it's a it's a little out of my comfort zone but I have the chance to work with someone who I admire yeah. and care about so much and and Mimi um, can't wait for you to be here no I feel the same way I already know from these interviews that yeah I'm amazed here it's out of your comfort zone except for I understand that you know, people who aren't used to talking about, but it's going to be wonderful. In fact, because of the nature of the play, where we're just reading letters that our characters have written, um, it's, it's going to be perfect, actually. I'm excited. How many, how Not as if we have to remember lines. That would be terrifying. That, how, many that people, would be. <laughs> how many people are in the production altogether? Uh, it would be, let's see, one, two. Two. It just, it's just wow. the two of us on stage. And it's the, the conceit of this show, which is amazing, is that it's just two people on stage reading letters that they've written to each other throughout their lives. Uh, uh, they've been friends, and a little bit more than friends. You um, do know, Bob, that Mimi Kennedy has been nominated and has won tons of awards and has been in tons of movies, television right. series, and everything else. I, I played baseball when I was young. Yeah, you the did. Same we, thing? You know, we talked about the uh, three Bs earlier. That's all I we got. Know you, we know you still like that. Uh, Mimi, I got to ask you, how is life on the uh, hit CBS show Mom? It's pretty good. It's about as good as it can get for an actor. There's all, every actor is hoping that they can do something on the small camera now that Netflix and all the Yahoo, it's all exploded. Right. But to be back on um, network TV is very, very cool. I'm sort of a traditionalist in some ways, and of course I'm flaming radical in others, but um, as a traditionalist, I just really enjoy that. You can turn on your network TV just for some entertainment yeah. and get something as good as mom. Agreed. And Alex Mimi, and just Dan between Dan you and me, room. just between you and me, Mimi, in exchange for Bob acting with you, I think the next time that you have a little bit of free time here in town, you need to make him let you conduct the sympathy. I think that's a fair trade-off. I, I, yeah. And she's going to do that a lot better than I'm going to do this. <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I can't wait, Mimi. I really can't. Mimi, would you be up for a little conducting of the symphony? I think Mimi would be up for a little conducting of the symphony. Well, oh, I'm so excited. I can do we'll it. talk. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi Kennedy. Yeah, my brother, my, our father used to stand in front of the high side with a pencil in his hand. Really? Conducting. I love it. Yeah. 
but I love it. I still do, but I don't tell people. Mamie Kennedy, we look forward to seeing you in town. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Okay. My show, we're going to have you back and talk about your 25th anniversary with Thank the symphony you, that Thank is coming you. up in April, in April. correct? Yep. All right, my friend, yep. good to see you. And Mimi, was to travel safely. Break a leg Thanks. coming up in the production. Thank you. All right, here is the information on the production of Love Letters. Check it out at the Chattanooga Theater Center. It's coming up tomorrow starting at 7. You can find out more at theatercenter.com. Hang in there. More of Let's Chat coming right up.